up? Paul Murphy here in Spanaway, Washington. And this is what I'm running right now, this washing machine. You can see I've got it's on a cycle now. Got everything turned off except this washing machine. And you can see here's the rack that I put put up. There's the rails I used and just set it up with all the mounting hardware, you know. Use the uh, the ladder was an evident evidently not going to work that well. So, yeah, I think I'll leave it on the ground. It's just easier to take up and take down, disassemble if I go on vacation or if the weather gets bad and I want to put it away. So I, you know, mount it together. You know, three eighths and then quarter twenty screws here. And then you can see I use the uh, big washers. This big washer here to help it you know keep it because it's a smaller size screw through a bigger size hole and I put these these were like seven or eight bucks a piece I can't remember I got these at the hardware store but those are those rails that I bought and they were you know a reasonable price and then I got negative connected to negative connected to negative positive connected to positive connected to positive and then I have the negative end connected here to the charge controller and I have the positive end going to this panel connected to the charge controller now I cut the wire that was coming off of these this rack here I cut cut this wire here earlier and I'll show you what I did I joined the two racks together so now I have the three charge controller, one rack, the other rack, charge controller, one rack, the other rack, charge controller, one rack, and the other rack. And then there's ground, there's negative, and there's positive. And here's the charge controller. So they're all joined together and they're going to the charge controller. Now the charge controller line comes here and the positive goes to the positive side of the battery here. And then I have the negative side. Um, I don't know see that or not but I've taken that the end and I've drilled a hole through there and I put some AWG 12 or AW, yeah AWG 12 stranded heavy copper wire here and I have it joined to this um, amp meter and here's the amount of amps coming in you can see it's fluctuating because of the charge controller Now the wa washing machine is running, and let me let me get, show you how much. Um, these are how many amps are coming in from the charge controller to uh, <clears throat> to the battery bank from those two racks. Of course, the Sun Force and the Harbor Freight kit are just there. You know, it's it's my voltage is maintaining at about. Hard to see because of the light. Sorry about that. <sighs> Michael Faraday. Mr. Faraday having a fair day. So let's see how much voltage. focus on this camera is really, really crummy. So that's my project and the charge controller the light is is on so that's it's good you know and then this is the, the amount of power going to the washing machine 380 watts it's in the uh, motor mode so it's washing the um, it's on the wash cycle now using about 6.36 amps 380 watts you see I'm using this you know, I'm not cheating so it's plugged into the solar you know, uh, this is it's kind of a lousy extension cord it doesn't have a ground on it but it's serving its purpose it's going up in uh, there and ideally I would want to have that um, ideally I would want to uh, have the pump, have that water pump 
running also the washer. Then, then I can have the whole system, you know, running the washing machine with the running, you know, doing the gray water to the orchard, using rainwater to wash the clothes, and then using the solar power to pr produce enough energy to run the washing machine, save some money, and it lasts for you know 25, 30 years. So I have enough power and water, do my laundry for the next 30 years, you know. Anyhow, take care. Bye.